Hello, and welcome to the update for Glory of Communism for World Conqueror 3. I did say that I didn't want to do mod reviews anymore, but I already promised to review this one, so I decided to go and stick with it. And also, I do know what I want to do on PC. I already have it all figured out. I want to do a Let's Play of Sepia Tears. I believe that's how you say it. And I won't spoil it, but a conquest on Hearts of Iron 4. It's not going to be like one video done, it's going to be a let's play. So look forward to that, I guess. But I will be doing Sepia Tears first. Anyway, I did a review of this mod a while back, but I honestly don't remember anything about it. I don't remember what it changed. I know it added in a few nations, but that's it. Like, I don't remember if it changed the campaign, if it added new generals, anything. So I'm going to be reviewing this as if this was the only version I've ever seen. So, first of all, let's check out the generals. Uh, vanilla generals, okay. Don't appear to be any new cities. Hmm. The backgrounds are definitely different, okay. There is an Indian general in London. Hmm. A North Korean general. And Poland Ball. Oh, I can't afford them. Don't appear to be any really interesting generals. It just appears that the backgrounds were changed, but I want to check all of them just in case. Oh, I already checked. Com Communist Russia. Okay. So here it seems that you have a whole mix of generals. So I will check that out last then. Here you have Dan King. Canada Ball. In Tokyo. Okay. A Brazilian general, uh, what it looks like a South Korean general, I believe that is. A Canadian, two Canadian generals, and an Italian general in San Francisco. Alright, nothing too interesting. I'm honestly disappointed. I expected some anime generals in Tokyo. But anyway, let's look at Istanbul, because this has... A lot of strange generals. You have Skulldozer, Eisenhower, you have Lennon being a fucking creep down there. Anybody else that's important? Leopold of Belgium. If uh, you ever need help taking down the Congo. Franco and Tito were also there. But that's really- oh wait a excuse me? Austria-Hungary? A tiny Soviet flag? Uh, okay. I guess we will go with Austria-Hungary. Is this World War One, or are we actually going to play as Austria-Hungary? No, uh, Austria-Hungary is not even in this. Excuse me. Is this a modern day mod? Is this what it does? Is the campaign modern? But, like, the weapons and stuff are modern, but the conquest itself isn't. And why the fuck is there an American general? I completed the first mission, and there appears to be two and eleven. Soviet, the Russian Revolution, and Falgelb. So that's normal, I believe. But the Russian Revolution, I want to check this out. Mary, okay. This is act actually the Russian Revolution. I did not expect that. Alright. I mean, I don't know why I didn't. I just don't come to expect much out of mods anymore. But I will bother with that later. Check out the conquest. I have a feeling that there's going to be a modern day map. Uh, 1939, 1943, 1950, 1960, question marks. 1960 and 1943 again. Alright, let's go and check out 1939 and see what's different. As I already said before, I don't remember what nations were added in the vanilla version, but I'm just going to name off all the differences that I see. Is Portugal playable? Yes it is. You can play as Portugal, Switzerland, Ireland, hmm. 
Morocco, Algiers. Here's that. I don't know, was Ethiopia in this before? Like, even the, the vanilla version, I don't remember. You can play as Saudi Arabia now. All of them? Yes, you can. You can play as all these Middle Eastern nations. That's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you have Indonesia. And uh, China, you can play as fucking Tibet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll go with it. You have two capitals of Russia for some fucking reason. Oh, it actually displays... I I don't know why, I just thought that that would be in Chinese or whatever. Xi'an King, Tibet, Communist China. I'm not even going to begin with that. I am disappointed there is no Tana Tuva, but you bothered with all the rest of these nations. Makes me sad. Okay, they added in all of these. So, wait, is Brazil? Yes, it is. So, most South American nations are playable. Okay, moving on to 1943. You still have South America. Uh, I believe that Cuba was already in this. So, I don't think that that, that has been changed. Vichy France... Here's that, yes, they do have a new flag for free France, that's awesome. I love that. I love the detail that mods add. Uh, Spain? You want to explain what you're doing up here, buddy? Oh well. Is Ireland still playable? No, you cannot play as Ireland anymore. And you can't play as any of these Middle Eastern nations either. China's still divided, though. You do have that. Yeah, 1943 doesn't look too interesting. 1950? Ooh. I like this. <clears throat> so, you have WTO. Appears to be fairly accurate. I expected America or Britain or anybody to have a bit of land right here in West Germany. But I guess they could have units there. Let's go ahead and see. Does America have any units? No, they don't. Alright. The mod just crashed on me, so I'll try this again. Here's that you do have some more African nations. You have Ethiopia, Libya, Algiers, and Morocco. And of course Egypt, but Egypt is always here. You have Israel, and this clusterfuck right here. Austria... Austria and, oh, I, why the hell did I think that, that was Austria-Hungary still? Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. You still have Czechoslovakia. You still don't have any of these nations down here below Mexico. It's a bit weird. Oh, Vietnam is divided. That's what I was looking for. That's what I wanted to see. Some pretty good detail right there. And that is all for 1950. 1960, Ireland is not independent. Excuse me. Oh. Russia decided to break itself. And now you have Be Belarus and Ukraine. Why? What the fuck is that territory? Uh. This map is so ugly. Why does Romania have all that land? Why are they so close to Crimea right there? Oh, Lord, all right. This is, this is just ugly. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Here's that you do have a unified Vietnam in 1960. That is all. Still, we see no nations like Costa Rica or any of them. Nobody. No Jamaica either. I was praising this for its... Uh, what would I say? I was praising it for having a lot of detail, but... Still, you're not adding in too many minor nations like that. This year's just... What the fuck? I believe that this is 1943 or 44. Hmm. 
Let's go ahead and see just how outmanned Germany is. They still have these advanced planes. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. That is, uh. Oh. We're gonna leave this here. Moving on, 1960. Alright, have to regain my composure there. What the fuck is this? Okay. You have Romania in the Axis and Communist Poland. Tibet still. You have, still, this is ugly. I want to know what this is. I'm going to click on it later. Yeah, North Korea. It's not in Korea, but it's North Korea. Nani? What is this? Alright, I need to click on this. What is going on? Oh my god. I see. So they just look badass, but they don't actually do much. I see. I completely get it. And, uh, if I can uh, do this, so oh, yeah, I can make more. Mm, this is a bit broken, isn't it? I won't lie, it is cool. Is this... Is this what glory of communism is? Is... Is this your point? Taking over Alaska? You have nobody on your side. You were all by yourself in this. And I completely understand why. Uh, we're... We're not gonna bother with this one anymore. And was that it? No, 1943. All right, Germany's falling. You have China pushing. Well, it's not really China doing it, but we'll say that it's China for the sake of simplicity. You have, quote unquote, China pushing back Japan. I feel like the units would be more interesting in this instead of just the map. That's weird. I would expect more troops up here on the border of China and Japan, but no. It's weird, and America doesn't really have any new units, so it's a different map, just nothing really has changed in terms of balance. I have a feeling that China would still get conquered pretty damn easily. Or actually, you could fend off, this isn't, isn't too big of a force. But still... I don't know, it feels like they were trying with something on this, it just kind of fell flat on its face, though. At least in that year. These other years seem pretty cool. Can I, uh... Oh! Switzerland is in the Axis. Okay. So, that is it for the Glory of Communism updates. There we go, go and check the box. And like I said, this will probably be the last mod review that I do for World Conquer 3 or European War 4. Just because I don't find any joy in them, to be honest. But like I said at the beginning, I did promise that I would do it, so I did it. And that will be all. Of course, the link is down in the description, and I hope to see all of you next time. And Saturday, I do plan on doing Sepia Tears first. It is a visual novel. I know that's not the most popular thing on my channel, but I've been wanting to do it for a while now. So, uh, yeah, that's happening. And Sunday is going to be Hearts Fire 4. That will be it. Goodbye.